Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Luke Ness Monster back again with another news video. Before I do get into the news, which we do have a lot to go over today, I just wanted to say on the channel I'm doing a giveaway. At a thousand subs, I'm giving away this Arc Trooper 3 pack, but you do have to be subscribed to enter in the giveaway. And uh, we are just like almost at 650 subs, and I made a goal for the channel to hit 700 by the end of the year. And I believe we can do it. We got about five or six days to hit it, and uh, we've done it before. We've gotten that many in a week, so let's do it again. And uh, I also just wanted to say one more thing. I am continuing video week from last week. If you didn't know, I uploaded it for the five days before Christmas. And I'm doing it again for the next seven days, actually, which is amazing. So starting today, and then that will lead up to the finale on Friday when I do a collection tour. So that will be really cool. So make sure you are subscribed and earn that giveaway, and so you don't miss any amazing content onto the so news. So first up in the news is regarding the Archive Wave 3. First up, it is actually sh being shipped out from Dorkside if you did pre-order it from there. And uh, yeah, that's amazing. Shipping out really fast. Uh, I don't know why it never went up for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. I was expecting it to the same day Archive Wave 4 went up, and this one never did. So I'm super confused. I don't know why it didn't go up, but it didn't. And um, yeah, hopefully they put it up for pre-order. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know why this isn't for sale, but on, at least on Hasbro Pulse, but it's just not. So. But they are showing up in Target stores, which is really, really cool. Some people are able to go and buy it, but other people just uh, aren't. It's getting street dated for April 1st, which is four months away, which is kind of amazing. Hopefully they fix the street date, get rid of it, so you can just buy it. But, yeah, four months for a street date is quite a bit. Hopefully they just get rid of it. But, um, yeah, it's really cool that they are actually showing up in Target stores now. And, uh, yeah, that's just amazing. Then the other wave that is actually showing up in all stores is the, uh, like, Phase 4 Wave 3, which is, like, the Queel, uh, the, the pretty much the Mandalorian wave with Queel, Moff Gideon, uh, Grief Karga, and the, um, uh, Sith Ray or Dark Side Ray. Those are showing up in Walmarts and Targets now, so if you do happen to find those, I would suggest picking them up. They do look really cool. Uh, the, the main one I want from that wave is Moff Gideon. I definitely want the Dark Saber, and I just think it's a really cool character as well after seeing the finale of uh, Mandalorian. So yeah, hopefully that those do show up in my Target store. It's been a while since I've seen one of those guys, at least anything in my Target store. But uh, yeah. While Moff Gideon is showing up in Target stores and Walmart stores, but uh, he actually did get delayed on Amazon until May, which is amazing. On Amazon, they're delaying him to May. Hopefully, they fix that and change it. But as of right now, if you did order from Amazon, it won't show up until May, which does really, really suck. Hopefully, the, uh, they give you the opportunity to cancel the pre-order and order from somewhere else, or um, hopefully you guys can find one in store if you did. If not, you're going to have to wait until May to get that figure. For collectors in Canada, the 6-inch uh, Deluxe Armorer is actually showing up in Toys R Us's, which is really cool. Uh, this was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and now for Canadians, it is showing up in Toys R Us, which is really cool. I'm really sad Toys R Us went out of business in the U.S., because definitely a really cool store for getting the Black Series, and uh, definitely one that I miss. But yeah, for all you lucky Canadians, you can pick up the Deluxe Armor. And then also for collectors in Canada, the uh, Wave, the, the Phase 4 Wave 3 is also showing up in EB Games as well. So yeah, that's basically GameStop for um, Americans, if you guys didn't know. EB Games is their GameStop, and uh, yeah, so... Wave 3 is now showing up in EB Games. And then we also have some news on some figures that are actually getting shipped out. So the final batch of the Walmart Waves has been shipped out. I actually got my last uh, 332nd Trooper in on uh, the 23rd of December. So Walmart is finally shipping those out, and that should be the last batch of those for the pre-orders. So I say do expect to see those back up on Walmart, back in stock. Uh, so if you didn't miss out on the first wave, they might come out with a, like they might put it back up for pre-order, and then also the Amazon exclusive uh, six-inch biker scout and speeder bike with uh, the child has actually been shipped out as well. So if you did pre-order that, uh, those actually should have shipped by now. Mine is in the back there. Mine got here on Christmas Eve, which is a really cool thing. But uh, yeah, it's amazing that those finally shipped out. Those weren't supposed to come out until like January, like mid-January. So I'm glad those did get shipped On to some Black Series helmet news, these uh, Captain Cardinal Black Series helmet was actually went up for pre-order on Target.com because it is a Target exclusive. So those did go up for pre-order. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys managed to get one if you did want it. And uh, we actually have some photos of it out of the box by a user on Instagram. 
here he is. He looks really cool. This actually helmet looks amazing. Hopefully they do a normal First Order Stormtrooper version of it because I do really love the normal First Order Stormtrooper helmet. And uh, hopefully we get the normal version of it. And for everyone who missed uh, the Darksaber pre-order for the Black Series Darksaber, it is actually up for pre-order on GameStop. But it is actually on sale for, I believe, two fifteen, at least in American currency and then is also not it's actually shipping earlier than Hasbro Pulse shipping in June instead of August so I say if you did miss a pre-order from Hasbro go pick it up from GameStop this looks like a really cool dark saber and hopefully we get actual images of it instead of just the digital renderings and uh, yeah that is actually all the news we have for today so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed so you can get entered in that giveaway and so you don't miss any videos on the channel so make sure to stick around for video week this week and I'll see you guys in the next video